So I'm on the bow of the 275 LXF for our luxury fishermen. We've got a nice recessed anchor into the hull here with windlass. You've also got foot pedals to operate the windlass up here as well as back at the helm. Now this particular boat is actually owned by Scotty McCreary and the optional cushion color that he has in here is called Italia. The outside of the hull is azure blue. Um, you can see here we've got backrests that slide up and down into place. Um, there's also lots of storage in the bow. So you've got hatches that open on either side that are good for fenders or life jackets or storage beach bags, whatever you want to take, and also a large storage compartment here in the floor. So lots of room up here, nice seating in front of the console. It's got an optional windshield wiper right here at the, at the helm. And it's standard on this boat to have the T-top with this glass enclosure. So this blocks the wind really nicely and makes for a, a nice, calm day on the water. So here at the center of the boat, inside the console, you've got a large area with a porcelain head with overboard discharge. Um, you've also got your switch panel down inside here. Uh, lots of room, nice finished off fiberglass headliner. Back here at the helm, we've got an optional Edson steering wheel. LED indicators, fusion stereo head unit, and an electronics door that lowers to keep your electronics safe. This helm also unlocks up here at the top by key and folds back so you can easily access the panels on the back side, the switches, electronics, whatever you need to get to to make working on the boat really easy. Um, you've got a cigarette lighter here for your cell phone or a spotlight. You've also got a USB input for music or whatever you want to use there. Um, so very comfortable tilt hydraulic helm. This model has the F200 Yamahas on it with the digital controls. The seats here are really nice because you can use them as a leaning post or you can pull these seats out like this and they sit flat. So and they're co-independent of each other. If the driver wants to sit down and the passenger wants to stand or vice versa, it's very easy to do. Coming to the back of the console, you've got your rod holders, cup holders here. This is a nice cooler box in the back here. Stainless steel sink with fresh water. You can also use this as a shower in the back of the boat. Um, you've got rocket launchers up top built into the hard top with LED lights, uh, speakers. So really nice layout back here. Stainless steel storage drawers. In the floor, we've got two large fish boxes with diaphragm overboard discharge. And on the starboard side, you've got an optional refrigerator here or standard you have a trash can that folds out, which is really nice and handy for a boat like this. Large access to the bilge here with your fuel water separators. Make a 2,000 gallon per hour bilge pump. Brass seacocks for anything that goes through the hole. You got two very large live wells. Dive ladder on the back of the starboard side swim platform. Wave gate door. folds down to the floor and makes walking to the back of the boat to the swim platforms very easy. Or you could fold it up, lock it in place, backrest slides up, stern seat slides out, backrest goes down and now you have a nice stern seat in the back of the boat.